So I just dug in that hole there and I said, come on Vanquish, find me some silver. Came over to here, bang in 20 signal for <laughs> Good morning mud monsters and welcome along for another day's digging. Here we are in beautiful Norfolk. It is seven o'clock in the morning. It's actually quite chilly. <laughs> really early start for us traveling out here. But look, before we get started, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the new patrons who've joined the channel. Um, your support is making the channel grow in, in every single possible way. Right now we're using wireless microphones so I can run around. I even go behind this tree. I could do a cartwheel if I had the energy. But basically, your support is helping upgrade camera equipment and microphone equipment and all the great stuff that makes the channel grow. So thank you so much. And if you want to be part of that process, then uh, please check below this channel for links to how to become a patron. There's loads of great tariffs from your little helper one, which is only a couple of quid up to your sort of deluxe package. But I'll let you have a look at that. Right, enough of that silliness. So we've got ooh, two massive fields, I don't know. 70 80 acres worth is x rape fields it's been ripped through there's not too many stalks it's looking pretty good i've got seth with me today we've only got about five or six hours because it's in between work but i can't wait i'm excited we're going to get out there let's get digging so today uh, i'm out on the ctx 3030 uh, with the 11 inch coil and for some reason my um big headphones for it are not working so um i'm having to use i don't know if you can see this the control module there um for the audio so uh, no headphones for me today because i've got someone else coming along a little bit and they're going to be using the vanquish and seth's on the Knox. but uh enough about that rubbish i thought i might have had a grotty roman to start with but it's actually a button <sighs> well there we go having to get to know the ctx all over again Right, got a 12.38 here. Show five inches. Let's have a look. See if that's got it in one. It's just on the edge there. Look at that, it does happen every now and then, but it's popped out from the flipping spade. It's a round in the ground situation. Let's get down there and have a look. As you can see, I've hit it with the spade. So it was flipping attached to it. Ugh. Ain't gonna get a lot of that in that state. Right, let's have a quick clean up and see what we got. There we are. Half penny of near nothingness. If not indeed absolute nothingness. Giving it a good little scrub there just to try and get a an idea on it and I got nothing. I'm gonna go with a oh is that a head starting to appear? Hmm? Or is it just damp? No, I can't even convince myself that I can see them on it there. I'm gonna go with a Willy the third half penny. Boom! First coin of the day. Right, sort of 12 41, 42 out of the hole. Hopefully this time. He says, oh dear, is it going to be one of these days for me? I can't pinpoint whatever we've got. There's here somewhere. Or is that it? a big lump now? God, it was small then. Quite small. Here we go. It's this, whatever it is. Oh no, it's a bit of alley. Skunked. Skunked by the aluminium. Seth's shouting silver. Let's see what he's got. Right, I'm going to show you what came, what I saw first, right? Okay, show and then, us. And then we'll do the big reveal on the other side. 
Okay, so there's that. So a big chunk of aluminium. We feel like farm stuff. Oh, hello. Hello, pretty. Yeah, there's some patterning on there, isn't there? What do you think? It's some claspy thing? Or... It's light though. Really light. Yeah. Ah, let's get it cleaned up, eh? Well, there we go. All cleaned up. Definitely some fancy on there and very shiny. But no um, no black patina particularly. And then, from there you go. Hallmarks. It just doesn't feel very heavy. There's some kind of little silver something something, ain't it? I don't know what it is. No. Well, well done, Seth. And you're on the Knox. How are you finding it? Confusing. Yeah, yeah. you're a vanquish yeah. user. You've got a learning curve there, my man. Right, you crack on. Right, I've got a cheeky little lead find here. I can show you. This is called a pot mend. So you've got a blob of lead there, which will be pushed in from the top and squished out the bottom of a broken bit of pot. And you can see the rim in between. So that's a pot mend. Not particularly exciting, but a piece of history nonetheless. Ah, some exceptional depth on the CTX there. Looks like we've had a buckle just flip out. Hmm. Not quite as nice as um, the last buckle I found, it has to be said. My gosh. But there we go. A find nonetheless. Uh, fairly modern D-ring buckle. I think I can see the edge of a coin. Could be a button. What do you think? Oh, is it a button? I hate this. I bet it's a flipping button. Yes, yeah, feeling buttony. And there's the shank. Oh, you monster. I'm very flipping dare you. Darn it. Right, guys, I've got a 12.42, That's quite often a coin signal. Certainly sounding good. Let's give it a go. Rape stalks everywhere. Still in the hole. Sounds like the guy who's learning with me today, a guy called David. Sounds like he's got a signal on the bank, Chris, as well. Oh, still in the hole. Cool. Quite deep then, unless it's in the side wall. Right, that's out of the hole. Thank you, Harry. Pinpoint master. Harry the farmer. Where did we get it? What have we got? And I thought it would be big and round. And it is. But what is it? Man, out! <laughs> it's some kind of... Looks like some kind of quite ornate buckle. Right, I'll get you a close-up on this one. Yeah, right guys, um, that is looking quite cool as you can see. Lots of potential detail on it. Let's give it a clean up. Hello, farmer's wife. <laughs> She's running away. <laughs> Harry's here, he's helping out. Look at this. So it's a piece of furniture fitting, I think. Quite nice, big bit of copper. Um, it was high hopes it was some kind of big buckle or brooch, but um, it's still nice nonetheless. Oh man, I had high hopes this was going to be a coin, but it's a huge lump of lead. Yay. Oh well, better luck on the next one. At least it's not a button this time. What am I saying? I'd rather have the button. Yeah. Well guys, um, it's been fairly slow going for me. Um, I've been helping out the, uh, the newbie with me today. He didn't want to be on camera, bless him. Um, guy called David, uh, first time ever out detecting, but he found uh, a medieval buckle, uh, which was nice, and a medieval um, beehive thimble. So really, really good show from David, uh, but unfortunately he didn't bring a spade with him, so <laughs> I was going backwards and forwards digging holes. So I'm um, sorry that there hasn't been a great deal from me. But now 
David has uh, shot off. We've got some things to do this afternoon. We've got two hours left. Seth's been uh, working his way down there and he's come over and shown me some goodies, which I will show you in a little while when I catch up with him. But two hours, pure detecting from now on. We've opened the gate. Don't turn off the light. I'm coming on. I gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found was nowhere near as nice No matter the rain, no matter the storm I'm coming home, I'm coming home Right, so I've switched out to the Vanquish. Uh, new machine. <laughs> Same finds, but on. But uh, I've come down the end where Seth's been doing quite well. Uh, it's right next to another field that we can't get on. But yeah, he's rocking it down there. Uh, can I get better than this? Oh, this is fourth button in a row. So four holes, four buttons in the space of about 30 metres, so it's a very heavy button area. Oh my gosh, four in a flipping row. If only there was a prize for that. Live dig time. See this, 18. That can't be very deep. Right, let's dig it. Well, I'm sure you can imagine if you saw the edge of this, what you might be thinking. But of course, you'd be wrong. It's going to be a button, isn't it? Right, um, unfortunately, time is nearly up for me. Uh, I've got to head back to the car. Got less than an hour's detecting before I've got to be out of here. Oh, come on, Vanquish, get me some silver. So I just dug in that hole there and I said, come on, Vanquish, find me some silver. Came over to here, bang in 20 signal for... <laughs> Have I done it? Um, no, no, of course I, of course I haven't flipping done it. It's another button. Why wouldn't it be a button? Uh, I've lost count today. Mm. Try to get wind up. So I'll try that again. <laughs> I'll try not to get wound up because when you've got a wound up mind, you don't listen to the signals well. Oh Jesus. Is that a sign? Just give up? I think it is. Well, Mud Monsters, we're all done for the day. It's only been about half a day's digging, but it's been so, so good to get out. It hasn't been my day today. I've had no silver, just one scruffy, uh, willy half penny, that furniture mount, and a few other little bits and bobs. But Seth, he's won the day. He was able to just crack on earlier. I was teaching David how to detect. He just got his head in the game. It was the knocks, went down the end of the field and smashed it out. He got three silvers today. Um, that sort of buckly, claspy thingy, a slick willy, and a Henry III voided short cross, all of which will be in the gallery after this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I know there wasn't anything particularly amazing come up today, but that's detecting for you, isn't it? Next video will be at the Rodney Cook Memorial Rally, and then after that, the main event at Detectable. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the gallery, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me. For me, it seems like you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building can't
Shone bright and my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate. Don't turn off the light. I'm coming home. I gained all.